you are on the air. Hey, Zach, the Testo Smart Probes were 220 bucks for the entire set when they first came out. Albert, are you the one that had one overheat? Was that you? Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's what I, I had the YouTube channel, and um, I had bought them, and Ralph was like, you got to get the Sporland Smart Probes. The Sporland, he was all about the small, the Sporland ones. Oh, yeah. And I got the Testos, and I tried them, and after like three months, one of them exploded. It overheated, and the batteries burst out of it. And uh, then I went to the small and smart, pro- smart probes, and uh, those were good, but they failed for the price. They failed uh, probably as fast as my Testos did. I had an issue with one not reading temperature. One, uh, the battery wouldn't read anymore, so no, it didn't matter how many batteries you put in it. It would, it would kill the battery within an hour. Oh, geez. Well, that kind of stinks. I always thought they were, like, more durable. Than the yeah, Testo and ones. then I went back to the Testos when they went to the long range Testos, uh, where they were, where they actually you could go more than five feet away from the condenser. Yeah, and uh, and they, those were those were fine too. Uh, those actually ended up working for about two years, and now I'm on the field piece job links, and I'm probably the most happiest with the job links. Yeah, as I recall, I did a, a range test of the Generation Two Testo probes, and I did it at the ballpark, and I know the Testo probes were like maybe 30 or 40 foot past second base. So second base is 120 feet, I think. So maybe 150 feet, 160 feet. And the job links, I actually walked out of the park and couldn't go any farther because there was a ditch on the outside of center field. So they were really good. Yeah, in that ditch, you probably found my first generation smart probes. There's a whole pile of I-manifolds in that ditch. I don't know how they got there. It's like two truck tires and a bunch of I-manifolds. Are they still producing software for the iManifold? Because I remember Stephen Reardon was the biggest proponent of it, and um, but I don't even think he uses that anymore. No, I think whenever they uh, fired Bergman or uh, whatever happened with him, them and Bergman, uh, the impression is they fired him. I think Stephen was such a, a fan of Jim Bergman that he kind of lost uh, faith in the whole apparatus and went away from it. But I think they're still providing stuff for the hardware because it's on sale at TrueTech. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I just figured when Bergman left, and he was basically the brainchild behind the formulas that kind of run the, that drive the, the system, that uh, they were going to stop doing updates on. And the question was, hey, I've got these thousand dollar tools. What do I do with them now? Jig Bergman's gone. Are they going to continue to upgrade them? And actually, I never even followed up on that. I didn't know if they continue to put uh, software releases on them. I know that whenever Bergman left. Now, he had a real good thing going with their app, and they revamped the app, and a lot of guys did not like it. And I honestly, I didn't really look at it after they revamped it, but a lot of guys hated it. But I never knew if that was because of Bergman left, and they just disliked the whole franchise now, or whether it was just a really bad app. But I don't think it has ever been as good as when he left. That's the impression that I get from other people. But, like, I haven't used it. If I get these things behind me to start working, I'll try it out. But I haven't used it in years. Yeah, well, I mean, the only the, the real downfall to it was it was too expensive for the numbers it gave you. It gave you some really specific hard numbers, which were obviously better than like the Testos or the Sporlins or or even Job Links. But the, for the type of work that we do, you don't really need that. I mean, hell, you were using the uh, the what was that? What were you calling that little tool you were that you were using? It was just a, a meter gauge with a smart with a two inch hose. Oh, we're talking about a Z-manifold? The (laughs) Z-manifold. Yeah, it was mimicking the I-manifold, and then I got digital versions with stubs on them, and I called them the Z-connect. Yeah, I remember (laughs) we're working back in the the days here when you were were messing with that, because you were purchasing, man, I remember you were buying a bunch of different tools, you were messing off all these different tools, and one day you said, like, yeah, I'm getting rid of all these tools, I've bought too many tools. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm going through that again now with power tools. But yeah, I mean, you get to a point where you're thinking about, okay, this is going to make me better. This is going to make me better. And and you start thinking about it. It's like I've surrounded myself with about a thousand extra distractions. What do I actually need to do this job? 